Now, one way nutrients are lost in food is when you cook them. Unfortunately, some crops have to be cooked for longer periods before they become edible. A nutritionist with the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences believes the cooking period of such foods could be reduced by breeding varieties with specific traits using biotechnology. She's uh, been addressing a debate organized by the African Nutrition Society on whether GM technology could promote nutrition-sensitive agriculture. Dr. Lin Lee Chiwon a cult on agues, biotechnology tools such as marker assisted selection and genetic modification technology allow targeted selections which then help scientists to breed for crop varieties that contain desirable nutrients. The nutritionist says breeding varieties with reduced cooking time could also prove useful in retaining nutrients in foods. I look at these more interestingly from my point of view, especially as we're transitioning both in terms of diets but also in terms of rural urban uh, conditions that the time for women or even households to prepare the food is becoming less and less at the same time as you're seeing that sometimes we're changing the diet because we're thinking I don't have the fuel the fuel wood, the energy to prepare these beans or to prepare these foods because they take a long time to cook. So if we could use some of these tools in biotechnology to shorten some of these processes so we have shorter cooking times, we can contribute definitely towards some of these nutritional outcomes as well. Representatives of anti-GM group Food Sovereignty Ghana typically highlighted the potential health risk of GM foods. The group is also concerned the introduction of the technology could be attempted by multinational companies to take over the seed market in Ghana to the detriment of rural smallholder farmers. One question is whether we have control over the food. Let us be quite clear. When we increase the quantities, we are increasing the money that is acquired by the agribusinesses in their pockets. It is not about the, the sufficiency of the food within our country. And in Ghana, we import one billion worth of rice. Jim Gaffney of GM Seed Manufacturing Company, Dupont Panier, however, contends fears over seed patents are misplaced. We have no intention of taking over the seed market. All we're asking is that we are allowed to create more options for farmers, for smallholder farmers. Our technology in no way can displace the risk management that the smallholder farmer across Africa is good at today. All the uh, agronomic practices that farmer knows today has to be part of any production system in improved agronomic practices that go along with a new hybrid or a new seed variety is all about what we're trying to do as far as help that farmer be more successful. So we're just trying to create more options for the farmer. The debates organized by the African Nutrition Society exposed the mistrust opponents of the technology hold against foreign seed manufacturers and regulatory officers in the country. Assurances from the representative of the Biosafety Committee that there would be strict adherence to safety standards failed to appease the anti-GM campaigners. The researchers meanwhile maintain that GM technology is one of several options that could be explored to deliver food and nutritional security for hungry, malnourished populations.